For weeks now, Governor Ifan Yoko of Delta State has been touring local government areas, inspecting and commissioning projects. Now it's the turn of Undokwa West and Patani, but things take a different turn. Both young and old from a community in Ugeli South troop out in their numbers, blocking the governor's convoy. They're not happy with the state of roads in their community and want immediate intervention. To do this route, we've applied to the government several times before you present us. They did nothing to us. First thing they say, my people don't take the list of waiting our talk, say that the names of the road when they hear the communities went there for this place. What they will confess to now to bring the Ministry of Works, they will come look the road. I know that's exactly the case. If we have a big deal, I can carry out. When they look the road, they will come cost them. And I didn't get it, and I can't so bad. And we will get it now. When they cost and finish, now then we will begin plan for the road. Having pacified the protesters, the governor moves to complete his assignment for the day: the commissioning of the Udofori and Kaboe roads in Patani local government area. Use of all road users, particularly those coming to Udofori, I wish to formally commission this Udofori road. In the name of God, the Father, the Lord, the Son, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. And then the inspection of the ongoing rehabilitation of the Kwale Technical College. After all the inspections and commissioning, Governor Okoa provides an opportunity for residents to bear their minds at a town hall meeting for both local governments. Aside from infrastructure, the governor also addresses the residents' concerns about what is being done to revive the education sector. We met with the accreditation team, an 18 man team that came from the federal government. And they were truly very excited because they have visited five of the schools and they commended the state government for their interest and commitment to technical education and said that what they have seen, they have not seen it anywhere else. As the governor continues his tour of other local government areas, the residents will be hoping that he will not fail to remember those areas that require urgent attention.